Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Adrian Hines, pastor of Kingdom Connections Embassy. And today is Monday, June the 24th, 2013. And I'm very excited to bring with you guys the uh, daily word of inspiration, or I should say inspirational word. And uh, I really want to just share with you guys kind of what I've been reading this morning in hopes that you will be able to break free. Okay, that that's what, what I really want for you to be able to break free. Uh, the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Okay, there's a scripture that I want to read in the, from the Amplified Version in Galatians, the third chapter. Okay, Galatians, the third chapter, um, verse number 10. It says, and all who depend on the law who are seeking to be justified by obedience to the law of rituals are under a curse and doomed to disappointment and destruction. For it is written in the scriptures, cursed, a curse devoted to destruction, doomed to eternal punishment, be everyone who does not continue to abide, live and remain by all the precepts and command written in the book of the law and to practice them. Now it is evident that no person is justified, declared righteous and brought into right standing with God through the law. For the scripture says, the man in right standing with God, the just, the righteous, shall live by and out of faith, and he through and by faith is declared righteous, and in right standing with God shall live. But the law does not rest on faith. It does not require faith, has nothing to do with faith, for itself says, he who does them, the things prescribed by the law, shall live by them, not by faith. Christ purchased our freedom, hallelujah, redeeming us from the curse of doom of the law and his condemnation by himself becoming a curse for us for it is written in the scriptures curses everyone who hangs on a tree is crucified to the end that uh, that through their receiving christ jesus the blessing promised to abraham might come upon the gentiles so that we through faith might all receive the realization of the promise of the holy spirit okay and so really the main verse that i wanted to focus on was verse number 10 where it says and all who depend on the law are under a curse and doomed to disappointment and destruction and so the reason why i want to stress this scripture right here is because maybe you're at a point in your life right now where you're just doing the 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 um the traditions or you're you're just going through the motions I should say and you're not getting the results that you're looking for you don't have any joy you don't have any peace you're not bearing any fruit whatsoever and I want to ask you this question because it's so easy to fall under this trap are you are you doing these things based off of thinking that by you doing them you're going to be found in good standing with God and let let me put it another way are you following the law are you doing are you going to church are you paying your tithes are you you know spending time in the morning with God or whenever you spend time with God based off of the law are you doing it so that you can earn brownie points with God are you doing it out of habit are you doing it just so that you can say God I spent my time with you God I gave you money God I went to church God I'm serving on this board or whatever I'm giving up my time just so that you can earn brownie points and, and I'm going to tell you this because I used to be there and I have to guard myself daily from falling back into this trap. If you're doing this, the Bible says that you're under the curse. You're going to be cursed. And what does it mean right here? It says, uh, it says all who depend on the law uh, are under a curse and doomed to disappointment and destruction. So basically what Paul is telling the church at Galatia is that, look, if you're trying to do these things, if you're trying to follow the law and earn brownie points, you're going to be disappointed. Um, not disappointment you're going to be disappointed and I'm telling you right now that if you stop that nonsense because it is nonsense why because the Bible says right here in Galatians 3 I just read it that the just they don't they don't do that we live by faith we live by faith meaning here's what it means we believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ I said it all last week and I'm going to continue to bring this point home because we as believers for some odd reason we think we think in our mind that we got to just continue to follow the law and that our righteousness is going to come through the law and our righteousness our right standing with God does not come through the law it comes by faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ in the finished work of Jesus Christ in the finished work of Jesus Christ so if you want to continue to operate in disappointment follow the law meaning think your righteousness comes from the law but if you want joy if you want peace if you want all the good stuff that God wants for you 
then guess what? Just trust. Rely on what Jesus Christ has already accomplished. Receive the promise and walk in it. That's it. We don't, there's no more, you know, again, the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, there was an agreement between God and mankind. All right. God had a part to play. Man had a part to play. But it's not, that's not the case anymore with the New Covenant. With the New Covenant, everything is on God. And all he asks us to do is believe. He doesn't ask us to keep the law, all the however many laws it was, the, co the, the commandments. All he wants us to do is believe. Why? Because believing is so much easier than following every code of the law. You don't have to operate in disappointment anymore. You don't. It, it, it's so clear right here. All you got to do is believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And guess what the Bible says? I love this part right here. Verse number 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. You want to know how you, how you become victorious in life? You depend upon Holy Spirit. You operate in the Spirit and everything. You, you, you make sure that you get the environment right to where the presence of God can show up. So that you can hear from God directly. And it's all through the Spirit. The Spirit, Holy Spirit is so important in our life that if we don't listen to Holy Spirit and if we're not operating in the Spirit, we are doomed to destruction. My friend, you have now been given a key of the kingdom. Walk in this freedom that you have. You no longer have to operate in disappointment, but walk in faith. Walk in faith. If you need prayer. Send your prayer request to info at kingdomconnections.org. Uh, the link will, I should say the email address, uh, will be up under this video. If this video has been able to bless you, make sure that you share it on Facebook and YouTube. Like it, comment on it, and then also subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Kingdom Connections. We are connecting people to the kingdom so that you can get results now. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that it's been able to bless you. I'm out. Peace.